Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how you can be able to install IPFS and fix if there are any bugs. So if you want to work with IPFS, you will have to install two things. One, you will have to install Go language and the two, you will have to install IPFS. So let's head to Google. In Google, I type Golang. So you head to Golang and then you go to download Go. Here I am using the Windows machine. If you are using Apple or Linux or any other operating system, you just choose based on your operating system. So I am selecting Microsoft Windows. Mine is Intel i7 processor and 64 bit. It will take a while to download. So I'll download it. Now the download is success. So I'll have to execute this. So I'll just open show in a folder. Here I'll have to install this. I'll click install. So it's a simple wizard. You click next, next and I'm installing in the C drive and install yes. and it's going to run the installation it takes a while yeah the golang is installed successfully now how do you know that if there is a golang is installed or not so you can go to command prompt and you can type go and press enter now you should be in a position to see this kind of a message. That means the Golang is successfully installed. Now it's time to install IPFS. So head to your favorite browser and open Google again. Now here you type IPFS. Go here. Here you have an option to install. So click on install, click on command line install. Here there are multiple ways you can install it in different ways. But what I'm choosing is I'll click on install here. So I'm going to use install go IPFS. This is developed by go developers. So I'm going to use this one. You click on this one, install go IPFS now. Click on that. Now you will land on this page. So you go here and click on download go IPFS. Now the download starts again. Now what I'll have to do is that I'll have to extract these files. So where do you have to keep these files? I prefer keeping the files in C drive. So I'll open this zip and I will extract these files into my C drive. So if the installation is successful, you just go to go IPFS and here you will see multiple options. So you have a install.sh and IPFS. So I'm closing the terminal. Now I'll have to execute this one, this file IPFS double click on it and it has initiated the IPFS network it started now you can see over here so the installation has started so if you want to see you go to this web UI you copy this one and you go to your browser and you type here and here you are successfully running your IPFS you have joined the network here you can be able to see how many peers are there and here we have a 52 peers as I told you that it all works with the peers right so now we have a 91 peers the peers count will increase decrease you don't worry about it you see they are from US Taiwan Hong Kong Germany everywhere throughout the globe 
okay that's what it is so once you are done with the installation so you go back here and you stop the daemon control c you can press control c the daemon is going to be stopped now what we are going to do we are going to see if the ipfs is installed properly or not so i'll go here windows r cmd here i'll type ipfs and you see there is an error ipfs is not recognized but if you see here we have ipfs running successfully right in the next video we are going to see how we can fix this issue there is a simplest way of doing it but you know that's not the one what we are going to do it you just drag and drop here and press enter and it works it works fine but you know this is one of the ugliest way of handling an ipfs system so that's not what we are going to do it now so we'll see a better way how we can actually fix this issue that is ipfs is not recognized as internal or external command stay tuned thanks for watching if you like my video please like comment and don't forget to subscribe